that cap you guys is right on top of my forge right there. I made the whole chimney and everything, including the cap. So that's what we're going to make in this video, a Chinese cap. Hey you guys, God bless all of you. Thanks for watching Mike Reed Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cover for a piece of pipe. Uh, these, the one I'm going to make you guys is you take a piece of tin and you make a Chinese cap, a cap that looks like a Chinese cap, to sit down over top of your pipe right here. Now what I'm working on is an old forge. I've got an old champion forge right here, you guys, that I restored a couple years ago. My son-in-law found it for me and brought it to me. It was like in pieces and just all gnarly. And I restored the forge, totally restored this forge. So what I want to do is, is I'm going to set it up where it's going to be down below the roof line. And I'm going to take a piece of pipe, stick it through the roof line, and then make a shroud that goes around it to catch the smoke. But I want a cap on top of it. And in this video, that's what we're going to learn how to make is a Chinese cap. All right, you guys, what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you got enough metal to do this with and then scribe your line from corner to corner so that you, and I've already done this prior to the video just for speed. Then I'll punch the center of it right here. Now, this right here is an 8-inch piece of pipe. That should give us enough of a cap to come down over the edges of the pipe so that the water don't blow in like when it rains and it comes in at an angle. Water will go under chimney caps and just go on down in them. I don't want that to happen here so you want to make it to where it will drop down below the top of your pipe. The top of your pipe. So I've got a scriber here that I made a few years ago and I've already got this punch so let's see if we can make us a line all the way around Looks like that's gonna work out really good yep that's all there is to that portion of it right there then we'll take us a set of Sheet metal pliers. We'll cut this out. Okay, guys, there's the circle. Now, what you want to do next, sometime before you turn it into the cap, you want to you want to square this piece of metal up and mark all the way around this right right here, so that when you put your your holders or your braces on, it holds the cap on. You'll you'll be able to line up with your pipe. That's, that's the whole point of marking this line right here. Okay, you guys, so mine ended up being about three and a quarter off the edge of this right here, <clears throat> which leads us to the next step. Cut up one of them square lines right smack, guys, right to the center of that thing right there. See how you do that? Now what you want, guys, what I'm going to use right here is a self-tapping sheet metal screw. See how that works? And that's what we normally use. Now you can use pop rivets and make them, make them fancier than that, but you're never going to get up there and look at it unless you have some type of a problem. Now guys, you can use any type of scrap metal if you've got, <clears throat> you know, if you've got scrap from this, you can use this to make your uprights. But I don't have that, so I'm going to use 
just some pieces of old uh, roofing tin that I've got here. Oops. Didn't work out good. All right. We need, we're going to need four of these things. Guys, since these are <coughs> two inches wide, what you want to do is you want to mark them right in the center. Now, guys, I know you won't, all of you guys won't have a sheet metal break, but I've got this little 36-inch break that I bought years ago at a flea market in Pent Springs, West Virginia. See how I'd almost bent that thing over all, all the way over? And that's what that's what gives you gives it its strength. Completely flat already. Now the next thing you do is you want to turn an inch down on them things. So these are these are an inch deep. So we'll just turn them down on a 90. Just like that right there. Now guys, remember that circle <clears throat> right there? That's what we're looking for right there, okay? So you want this to line straight up with this. So what we're going to do... is we're going to mark where these go and we're going to pre-punch the hole through the through the the top of it so that we can screw the screw in and punch a hole in that thing like that then when you come over here to your where you're going to mount all right guys see how that works So come over here opposite to that one and put you another one in there. Okay guys, there's what you should look like right there. We're down there two and a half inches, so come down on this one to, to two and a half inches. Hold it right there. Screw it right on there. And guys, that right there is how you make a Chinese chimney cap. And you can make these for square chimneys as well. We made a lot of them. They, we just made a square ring that fit the thimble of the roof of the chimney, and we screwed this thing to it. But that's the way you do it. I never throw any metal away. I'm a scrounger when it comes to metal. Even if it's just a little chunk of scrap because you never know what you can use it for. Guys, God bless all of you. Once again, thank you for watching Mike Reed Outdoors. I really do thank you.